Afternoon Viva MK, 31st of July 2020 and like I say every time we speak what a year it has been so far. Quite um, extraordinary some of the things that have been happening. So last week we released our latest catalogue of course, Autumn Winter 2020. It's difficult to even think of autumn winter when it's 32 degrees outside um, and we've barely had a year, let alone have a season. Um, but um, it's out there and as you've seen it was right on time for a change which is fantastic. Thank you to all the team that got that together and of course um, collated everything that was necessary and as you know catalogue production isn't straightforward and it takes time which is why some companies Companies don't do them regularly. So anyway, the point is we're now working on Christmas um, 2020 and of course, believe it or not, spring, summer 2021. Those are the next two big projects underway, let alone some secret projects to do with some fantastic product releases that are coming your way very, very soon. I've got a few competitions to do today, which undoubtedly I will mess up royally um, but I'm going to try my best. It's always difficult without Kirsty and Kieran here to be supportive and lead the way and show messages in the background when I make a mistake but there you go. So um, uh, people keep talking about our industry. I just want to quickly talk about that. When they say our industry, what our industry? We, what we do here is unique and different and we do it our way. You know, I don't want to be part of any industry. I don't care about the industry. All we want to do is be a people's industry, about the people, directed by the people and for the people. Why does anybody have to fit into an industry? And especially where such industries get such a poor reputation for the things they've done and the way they are and the way people behave. I don't want to be part of that. I don't think there's anything else to say about it. We can lead our own way. We can be bold and proud and open and do this business exactly the way we want to. I'll tell you something, just this week alone, um, I had a long conversation with one of our esteemed distributors um, and in that conversation, we've come up with a great new product category. The manufacturers have already got the detail and that's how quickly we can work. No other company can do it like that. And a great example of that, like I've told you before, is our candles and our waxes um, and our virucidal spray and our hand sanitizer. You know, these things, although hand sanitizer is different because that came out of necessity in the world we're in, but the virucidal spray, the, 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 the waxes, and numerous other products, the Eco Range is another example, all came from conversations and connections. And currently we have three or four more ranges in the pipeline that are purely down to conversation and connection with you people. And that's the way I want to always keep it. So only this week on Tuesday morning, great conversation with a fantastic distributor in our business, great idea. And whilst that distributor was Still communicating by email, I had already made contact with a manufacturer um, and that's how quick we can work. See, our uniqueness is you and the way we all interact. This is what I've always wanted. We're one year old now in this reinvigorated, new, fresh version of the business where really there is no board of directors or people who don't like people or people who want to scrape profits. You know, here's the funny thing. All my years in the industry, people have said, oh yes, we should really join this industry because it escapes the corporate world. The corporate world, which is full of greed, run by 
people who really don't care about people and they just want to make money. They want to make profit. It's run by boards. And yet most of the companies that we talk about as some kind of competition are run by greed, run by boards, and sometimes forget the value of people. You know, the day our business forgets the value of people, it will truly be the day to give up. So one year in, we are developing our own road, our own boldness, our own pride, our own openness in what we regard as the people's business. So that's what our industry is. It's an industry of people, which is why we're one of the few companies, few, and I don't know any others, um, that deal in pounds and pence. They don't hide under points or nominal values. Pounds and pence, straightforward to understand. Now, I'm going to make it even easier to understand this year before this year is over. So you know exactly where you are and what is going on. So we can maintain that uniqueness. Can we do it the way we want to? And that brings me on to our showcase. The world is changing every single day. Our date, the 3rd of October, is still in concrete. I told you last time, we have 12 separate venues provisionally booked. Each one of them is prevalent on where the country will be in respect of social distancing and what we can do. As we know, from the 1st of October, the country can go back to conferences and, and, and gatherings, but I don't know how it's going to work. So we have some huge rooms booked. Look, if I have to personally take everybody's temperature and give everybody a mask and seat everybody one or two metres apart, we will do it. So next week, I should have detail on which of the venues are going to do. You know, some of the venues haven't even opened yet, and yet we've got a space book there. The reason I'm telling you this is not to sound big or, or, or be conceited. I'm just saying we can do things the way we want to do them. I'm, you know, determined to have some kind of event. Everything from getting together, whether it's social distanced or not, whether it's in a football pitch size room or not, and having shenanigans, shenanigans of course, to follow to not being able to do that because of the way of the world or whether we're in a second wave, God forbid, to having another um, live stream. One way or another, we are going to connect, hopefully face to face. Like I say, if I have to personally take everybody's temperature, I will do that. And throughout the day, if everybody has to carry their own te thermometer, I couldn't care less. One way or another, we will do it. Um, so hopefully next week, I've got details of tickets and venue. And just so you know, because people have been asking, I am going to take it out of Birmingham. And the reasons are, um, first, I don't want to be in such a tight knit city, nothing wrong with Birmingham, beautiful city, but I don't want to add any kind of lack of safety of being anywhere where there's a huge conurbation of people to so take it out of the city. But more importantly than that, I was planning that anyway. I don't want to put everything on the pandemic because I was planning that anyway because I want to take the prices down. The prices that you have to pay for parking, for getting in and out the city, for hotels. We want to move all that on so we are in better price venues where hopefully we can take over the entire venue. Those are the kind of places I've been looking at and all in the Midlands. Anyway, that's the showcase. I will let you know as soon as um, anybody gives us a go ahead on a room and of course evening shenanigans. And the idea is to get everybody together, keep the prices down, but do what we are good at. And that is simply do it our way. That's what we're good at, do it our way. Now, if you recall, I told you last time, our period seven, which ended no more than two weeks ago, um, was our greatest period in sales in this business, which is phenomenal. Um, you know, post-pandemic period, business is booming, and period eight is likely to be the same. But let me tell you, big whoops. No one cares about sales. You know, I'm not chasing huge periods so I can say every period, hooray, we're doing fantastic and we're, 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 sales are growing. And it's not about that. Sales will organically grow if we organically grow people. I'll tell you now, you will not catch me every period saying, hooray, we've had a phenomenal period. I couldn't care less if we turned over 100 million. I'm still not going to go down that road where it seems like we are chasing turnovers and money. That is the past. It's the corporate past to do that. You know, 
If you tell somebody, oh, our business turned over 10 million, generally, they don't give a flying one. Why would they? All they care about is that you care about them. That's what business should be about. And that's where the corporate world and the industry seem to lose their grasp of it. All talking about a million people joined last night. We were now turned over 4,100 million. This person just won a house and now have won their own cruise liner. No one cares. Yes, it adds solidarity to a business and it makes it sound big and brave. But at the end of the day, if you cannot look after the new people in your business or the people at the coalface that create your business, no one actually cares. So yes, sales are good, business is growing, but more importantly, what brings the greatest pleasure is knowing that everybody feels valued. Now, of course, there are going to be slippages out of that net because you can't be everything to everybody. But the point is you do try to be as much as you can to every individual. You see what I mean about trying to make our business different. I've been in the corporate world all my life in multiple conglomerates and organizations. And all along those years, all I've wanted to do is take all the best bits and create a business where people actually feel valued and they don't lose the value of individuals because of greed and profits. Yes, a company has to make profit, of course it does. And we will, of course, continue to grow and do that. But never ever think that an organization should put that before the people that help you create it and the people that put you there. I do believe that's enough of a rant for the moment. So on to a handful of competitions. I don't know where that actually came from. But anyway, we had a handful of competitions. And the first one was who could sell the most Viva MK branded products. So each individual product counted as one point. So we have one overall winner and we have three prizes for three individual winners. So let me pick the three individual prizes first, and I'll tell you who the overall winner is. And here we are in my Gustav Klimt um, tin, my only possession. So in here, I will pick three um, winners who have sold at least one Viva MK product. And where it comes to Viva MK products, of course, that's something I want to progress and build upon. And we've got multiple products being created by multiple manufacturers with our brand name. But I can't tell you that which products at the moment because you'll just have to wait. So here we are. So I'll pick three people out here. All these get uh, a 20 pound voucher or something. Kirsty will correct me on that um, if I'm wrong. Now, of course, I could give away holidays. Some companies do, and one day we will. But when people can actually go somewhere, that's the day to give away holidays. There's no point saying, hooray, you won a great trip to Spain or wherever. Don't want to isolate Spain in that, matter, in, in that manner, but you know what I mean. Yes, of course, we're going to have destinations. They're, they're firmly on our agenda. We're one year old. Of course, we will have them. Um, but possibly at a time when you can actually fly and go to them. There's no point rewarding you them now. Anyway, I'm going off track today. It must be the heat. So the first one is Alan and Barbara Jefferson. Uh, congratulations to you. You're the first um, £20 winner. I'll just put that there because otherwise I'll lose it. I'll take it out a second one. Um, and the second one is Glynis and Richard Strachan. Congratulations to you. And of course, I've got the camera the wrong way around, so you can't actually see it in um, proper right in the right way around. Right, and here's the third one. And it is Ian Hart and Karen Goodhall. I'm sure Karen's name is different, but you know, and I'm sure that's Freddie. Well then, Ian Hart and Karen Goodhall. So that's that. Now, who sold the most Viva MK products? Well, in third place, it was Louise Rennick with a wee W in there. Um, in second place, selling the most Viva MK branded products, Ali Lloyd and Jeff Locke. In first place, absolute flyaway with in excess of 70 products, seven, 70 
individual Viva MK branded products with a hundred pound first prize. Tom and Kate Forbes Z. Well done, Tom and Kate. Congratulations to you. Um, that's a phenomenal amount of products. And these competitions are only about a little, a, a, a little fun. Um, you know, one day we'll have huge incentives as we continue to grow. Of course we will. It's part and parcel of what we said we'd always do. The second competition, and this one's going to cause me much angst because I'm bound to get it wrong, um, is about demo videos. Um, and this, if nothing else, was another headache. The reason it was a headache because the demo videos are so damn good. So the judges on the demo, firstly, it was a, to create a demo video from a Viva MK product. And we have a range of them in our cleaning ranges. Um, and it was to create a demo video from one of those products and make it public. Public is the most important thing because I don't want people to be secret agents. If you're proud to be in the business, be bold and be open about it. I, don't, I can't stand this um, doing things secretly. I understand if your place of employment doesn't allow you to be open and proud, that's fine, I understand that, because some companies are like that about second incomes or second businesses. But if that's not the case, be bold and be proud. So it was a public video. So we had a number of entries. The judges were some of the team at HQ and for the first time, the manufacturers of some of those products, but we, because we thought we would show them what our distributors do um, for a couple of reasons. A, to show them more about our business. And then secondly, to show them the enthusiasm of what people in our business can do and achieve. Well, let me tell you something. We're all used to seeing them, which is fantastic and so are the staff. But the manufacturers were absolutely blown away with what distributors do with the products. Um, because they're, and they're in their, in, in, in their uh, opinion, they've not seen that before. You see, these manufacturers produce these products and out they go. Um, in some cases, such as the Virusidal and in the case of the Viva MK eco-friendly products, these are the first openings for the manufacturers for a domestic market because they're huge manufacturers and they're huge industrial sellers. So it was the first opening as domestic sales, which again is a fantastic departure for us to help a business like that who in turn helps us. Anyway, they were totally blown away by the videos. So here is the dilemma. For the winning video, which is a £100 prize, I believe, £100 prize, um, they could, couldn't whittle it down to the, uh, uh, out of the last four. There's four that made it to the last cut and they, they, they were blown away by how original they were, blown away by how amusing some of them were, blown away by the fact that people even do that. They categorically said, and this is both manufacturers said we've not seen any company do it like you do so the four people this is what i'm going to try and do so the four people that are in the short list are on these pieces of paper watch me muck this up good and proper the first one is good old number one yvonne measle 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 it's yvonne well done yvonne whittle down to the last four is sarah salisbury Congratulations to you, Whittle Down. People blown away by your contribution to the video front. Joanne Hutchin, absolutely fantastic. And I think one of the first attempts that you made um, to make a video, so congratulations to you. And of course, uh, Louise Rennick with a WW in there. Um, so these four people here were Whittle Down as the four best videos and the manufacturers couldn't decide both independently couldn't decide which one was the winning video so i thought it was only fair to stick them stick these four people into my little black box and then pick a winner why not that keeps it fair doesn't it these were whittled down by the manufacturers i'll stick them in my black box and then i will pick out a winner and then we'll pick out one more winner from all the video entrants uh because i think they win 50 pounds so i'll stick these four in here in you go joanne into my little black box louise in you go into my little black box i'll put the lid on my black box give you a little shake that is a very cute black box wouldn't you say isn't that cute that's a wonderful little black box 
No idea whatever came in it, but I know what's going to come out. One video winner is going to come out now. Let's see who it is. This person wins a hundred pounds for creating um, a video from which the judges couldn't decide which was the best one. And it's this person. Sarah Salisbury, you are the winner of £100 for your video contribution. Uh, thank you for that. And I'm, a, a, I'm sorry we couldn't pick one overall winner. In a way, I understand. And this is why I don't judge the videos, because I like them all. It's very difficult for me to you know, pick one over the other because they're so good in what people do. And I know the value of doing such demos because I know other companies don't do it in that way. So when I see a video, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, how good or well polished or whatever it's like, the fact that there's a video demonstrating a product that we've created is a phenomenal concept. And the manufacturers proved that in what they said to us when we took them to them. They were totally blown away. Anyway, in this other pretty box, I am full of pretty boxes. In this box is all the people that made a video. Now, here's where it gets complicated. Now, Originally, the £100 winner wasn't going to be in this because they were the overall winner, so they were going to be taken out. So, Sarah, I'm sorry to say, if I pluck you out of here, I'm going to have to pluck you and chuck you because you've already won that prize. Does that make sense? Because your name's in here as well. So, if it is Sarah, I will have to... No, I don't know where I come out with that either. I will have to remove you. Okay, so here we go. In this pretty box are all the videos that have been made. So I will just um, take the lid off and I will slip out. Knowing my luck, it will be Sarah. Of course it will be. Right, let's see. And this person wins £50. And it is Colleen. Right. Congratulations to you, Colleen. Thank you very much for producing your video. So that's the competitions. I know they don't always go the way that I want them to go. Um, but, you know, we have some brilliant people in this business. And if the reaction from the manufacturers of two separate products of, that ha has been the way it has been and the reaction that we constantly get from the manufacturers of the beauty products is anything to go by. None of them have seen a company talk about the product like we do. You see, that alone puts us in a unique and proud and bold place. It in itself makes us the business that we have always wanted to be. You know, I've worked in businesses, no point mentioning their names, but I've worked in businesses where you wouldn't even be allowed to create a demo video before 16 people in compliance would have seen it. And even then they would have rejected it because you sniggered or your accent wasn't right. And, and they're the kind of companies that we've worked with in the past. Uh, and so it's so brilliant to almost direct this business with people that are passionate about it and that is a rare thing to do you know it's something I've always wanted to do and that's not because I don't know what to do in the business of course I do but to get people involved is something very very special you know people who are part of the business to know they've contributed is something very very special and we will recognize more of that in the future um, as some of these projects are created and lifted off but I can tell you now you know there's at least three projects that I can think of the top, top of my head which are unique and brilliant to us because they have come from the minds of the people that are the business. And the people that are the business is the network. Um, and I just want you to always remember, yes, we are unique and we are different. And I don't want to be part of anything. I just want to be us and always keep it that way. So thank you for listening. Thank you for the, the uh, joining in the malarkey and the shenanigans. I'm so looking forward to giving you details 
of our autumn showcase on the 3rd of October. Um, we had to play it the way we have them because we are in a very changing world. You know, it's changing every single day. It improves, it goes backwards, then it goes forwards again, but it is constantly changing. But one way or another, we will continue connecting. Thank you for all the effort and determination that you put in. And of course, the team at HQ put in, you know, without all those people, um, I wouldn't be able to do anything. Obviously, I can barely do a live, let alone do all the background work that is required. Of course, there's a long way to go. But like I always say, you know, we didn't come this far to only come this far. So thank you for making it one phenomenal year of the kind of business we all want to be a part of. Thank you, everybody. Take care.